that. And our air quality, though, something to keep in mind, especially if you have any sort of breathing ailments like asthma or any sort of upper respiratory issues, air quality is going to be reduced once again today, and that is going to be because of the Saharan dust. So we are in the moderate category, so you might notice a difference, especially if you are, uh, suffer from allergies, if you're a little more sensitive to allergies, it's likely going to be because of the Saharan dust. So we saw it yesterday, and we're expecting a little more of it today, and then we'll start to see it depart more so as we head to our Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, and especially by the end of this week, we'll be in much better shape. But looking ahead further across the central Atlantic, we have another plume that's going to be eyeing its way closer towards uh, the peninsula and also into the Gulf. So we're going to be watching that pretty closely because it could bring us impacts about a week or so from today. So we still have a little ways to go, but we're obviously going to keep a close eye on things. In terms of our tropics, things are still quiet, and that's partially due to the Saharan dust. It helps to kind of keep a lid on any sort of development. But of course, as we inch our way closer and closer to August, we'll likely see things pick back up because we're already starting to see some signals for that, looking at some of the extended longer range models. So that's going to be something you hear us talk about quite a bit more uh, leading into August. So just make sure you're preparing now uh, before it's uh, before we have our next storm we're talking about.